funding on the way for first responders as the Kanawha County Commission approving funding for the West Side Volunteer Fire Department to make some upgrades. WSAZ's Aaron Mintz shares the changes the department's now hoping to make. All in favor say aye. Aye. Matter carries. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. More money is on the way to the West Side Volunteer Fire Department. The Kanawha County Commission approved $88,000 in federal funding to help fix up the department. The chief making his case to the commissioners. The windows have been there since I've been there. I've been there for 35 years, so I know they're at least 40 years old. The old windows are just one part of how the department plans to put the ARP funds to work. New heating system, air conditioning, uh, replacing tile, put new ductwork in for the system. It's an old system come with the building, so it's not insulated, it sweats. Uh, and condensation causes to do water damage. Chief Chris Schilling says construction on the building started in 1952 and it's time for an upgrade. You see the water damage like up in there. The springs in them won't raise up to let air in. When this one here, it's, it came down the other day and we had to wedge it up in there. Chief Schilling says with the windows not keeping cold air out, more taxpayer money goes towards utilities when it could be going toward keeping equipment up to date. The money can also help keep equipment in good condition. This furnace is one for your place instead of being so close to the truck. Right all the hoses back there, it's put a lot of radio, a lot of heat on them. Uh, it's not good for it. The department ready to start making changes. It really feels good that I can spend use the money elsewhere uh, for like some buying equipment again to buy more stuff and. Uh, Save the, fire, save the community money. Chief Schilling says once they get the money, they plan to start by adding insulation to the newer building here. Arianamins, WSAZ, Kanawha County. It's unclear, though, how soon those renovations will begin at the fire department.